That's right, Fresh Bake. We're back at Universal Studios. Record time, by the way. Oh, look, it's King Julian. King Julian. Uh, record time. I have not gone to Universal and then come back again in such a short period of time. Maybe two months, I think. But with news of Disneyland Paris adding that new Fast Pass system. Hi. The buy one price for all attractions Fast Pass. I thought I need to try. I want to find out what that's like. And the closest thing we can approximate that to is right here at Universal, Universal Studios. I bought the Platinum Pass. That includes... Uh, I think, what are they called? Universal Express? You can get front of the line pass once for each attraction, every attraction actually, every ride, show, everything. Uh, once per attraction, but only after 3 p.m. <laughs> so I got here at 2.30. And we're gonna see how much damage we can get done using that pass. I'm gonna find out what that's like. And I wanna figure out how that compares to, obviously, Disney's Genie Plus. By the way, quite busy here on a Saturday afternoon at about 2.30. Last time I was here, it wasn't near as busy as this, so that uh, that Express Pass is going to come in handy, I have a feeling. And I'm going to be starting, I'm heading straight for the, uh, for the Backlot Tour because that's the attraction, it's been my experience, that has the most excruciating, grueling weight. Uh, one that you definitely would want to prefer to have <laughs> some sort of front of the line pass. It's 2.50, 10 minutes to 3, they already started letting in the uh, express lane, guys. That was, uh, that's that's the standby queue. <laughs> that's my queue. Already I'm feeling like a win. Already, this is great. And you know what's, I'm gonna make a really interesting observation, but we're gonna wait until the end of this tour. Let's go check out Hollywood. Will you move on to the theme park? Bye! We just drove by them. Chris Pratt. Usually happens, especially closer to the full release rolling. date. The woods here on the lot, coming out on the left hand side, where they see some parking spaces that say seven bucks. In short for seven bucks productions, owned and operated by Dwayne Johnson. Stone Street, you may have seen it in Home Alone, Alone in New York, or maybe you know it from Bruce Almighty. Place the door! said no, so we don't like to do... Oh, well. Wow. Norman, we... Listen, it's not that big of a joke. Norman, please just, if you can, just tell us really quickly that you're kidding. Oh, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Luke, let's get out of here. I don't know if he's kidding or not, but I don't want to stick around to find out, so we gotta get out of here. It's gotten busy. 
<laughs> I have never seen the lower lot look like this. My goodness. We're gonna try the mummy next. You saw the queue on the way down the escalator. Looks pretty uh, lengthy, 50 minutes standby. So no cameras on the mummy ride. I'm gonna give you a synopsis of what happened or what's gonna happen on this ride and what happened on the studio backlot tour just as soon as I get done riding the mummy, which I have not, I've done one time. I've done the mummy one time. I enjoyed it, I you go backwards, right? Fun ride. I don't think this uh, attraction is long for Universal though. to take a quick interlude over here at the, what is this, the Jurassic Park Cafe? I don't even know what they call it, the Jurassic World Cafe? I've always wanted to eat here because <laughs> I'm kind of a weirdo for interesting place, places to eat. Anywhere else you sit to eat in this place, except for maybe the three broomsticks, the restaurant is just kind of plain. The seating is normal. Uh, you're just out in front of the, the, the Panda Express or something like that, but they, they got a very nice setting here. The food I'm not expecting to taste good at all. The food is gonna be disgusting, I'm almost positive. <laughs> We're bordering on it. Uh, this is my burger. I just got the regular cheeseburger. I, I looked at, I have a rule, don't eat pork at, at a theme park. Oh my, and I'm gonna stick by that. Chicken didn't look very good. So we're gonna try this burger here. I've never seen them put dressing on the top. It's not very good, it's very cold. It's very cold, look at that. I can just peel, I don't know if that's sauce or cheese, but I just peeled that off. It's cold. I'm here for the setting. I'm here so that I can check out the view from Jurassic World Ride. We're right up where they drop. I climbed up two flights of stairs <laughs> so I can do this. <laughs> like they built this whole thing, this wonderful little outdoor dining area that makes it feel very, I don't know, islandy. And very few people sit up here. But it's really nice. I, mean, I like to be above everything and look down and watch things happen, watch the ride. Sounds like they're uh, bringing out blue. I'm gonna eat my early dinner here real quick. I had to to settle my stomach. Got a little bit queasy on uh, Mummy. And then we're gonna jump in that Jurassic World queue right there and give you some thoughts. Observation wise, we'll start with the backlot tour. Post the wait time was 15 minutes. I got in a little bit early, that three o'clock point. Five minutes, it took me five minutes to get into my vehicle. And then I spent a solid hour the back lot. That was a lot of fun. We got to see the Back to the Future, uh, the town square bit. They hardly ever, well, the last three or four times, they skipped that part of the tour. Anyway, five minutes to get on to the back lot, which is just incomprehensible to me. That line is just extraordinary. Got down here to the mummy, close to wait time, 50 minutes. I saw, I showed you the queue, the extended queue. That looked very arduous, five minutes. Now I say that obviously because it's the same situation with Genie Plus, but the reason why I want to say look how good this is is because I bought it. <laughs> I can get the same service for Genie Plus. I can get a five minute wait time for most rides at Disneyland that are on Genie Plus. By the way, this is all the rides, all the shows. I mean, there aren't near as many here as there are at Disneyland, but it's everything. I can get that same service to Genie Plus, but I don't buy it. I did here, why? Because they included it in the annual pass. I don't know what the price would have been for a, for a Platinum Pass. It, it's free with, with the Platinum Pass. 
just have to use it after three o'clock. I don't know what the price would be without it, but it didn't matter. That's the reason I bought the Platinum Pass. I bought it because it came with the express service. If Disney includes Genie Plus with the Magic Pass, even as an add-on, I'm gonna buy it. And we can even take that conversation a little bit further, which I'm going to right after we take advantage of my express lane here at Jurassic World, which presently has a 100 minute, that's one hour, 40 minute standby queue for Jurassic World. Let's find out how long that takes. Oh my God, I didn't even wait at all. I walked directly into my, into my boat. That was a zero minute wait. Zero minutes, look at it. Hey look, there's some guys right there. gentlemen Jurassic World that ride is outstanding oh, that is so much fun that is such a great ride they totally surprise you at the end every time I keep thinking there's gonna be more show and all of a sudden boom they're dropping you <laughs> I love that ride all right I had a I was having a conversation with you about the value of adding the Express Pass or Genie Plus to the annual pass I wasn't sure how much the actual worth was of, of Express here at Universal because it's included. It's not a. It's not an a la carte thing. It's included in the price. Worst case scenario, it's two fifty. Worst case scenario, getting Express is two hundred fifty dollars. But it's actually less than that. Uh, the the Platinum Pass, which comes with, you know, Express, is five twenty nine. The next pass down is gold. Optimus Prime here, he won't shut up. <laughs> gold, gold is like 279 So that's a $250 difference. But gold, or I should say platinum, also has more available dates than gold does. Anyway, worst case scenario, that, that difference between gold and platinum is 250 We'll just call it that. Now I think here at uh, Universal it's something like $80 per day for the Express Pass if you buy it a la carte, so you have to buy that three times if you don't get it as part of your annual pass. Three times. I wouldn't buy it zero, I wouldn't buy it any times. I would never buy it. I would go standby every single time or I would just find a way to enjoy my day without going on rides that have extra long standby. If they didn't offer Express Pass with an annual pass, I would have gotten the lower pass. I would have gotten gold or something like that. But because they added it to Platinum, it's the reason I chose Platinum. They got that 250 out of me because it was rolled in. They went from zero to 250 but they don't get the 250 out of me if they don't include it in the pass in the platinum pass I mean, it's a great value it's a great bargain it works perfectly as we've seen already i've walked on to four tracks i'm walking on the transformer help me speak
well done. I tell you what, one thing I can say for sure, Transformers, personally, in my opinion, that is the worst ride ever made. Oh my God, that ride is terrible for me. Oh man, 100% screens, all that motion, it's Star Tours times 10. Ay ay ay. Oh my god, I I'm so gonna puke. As a matter of fact, I think I'm done with rides for the day. That cooked me. Uh, Transformers ruined me. And I, as a matter of fact, I think I need to clean the palate a little bit. I'm gonna close our evening, our trip here at uh, at Hogsmeade, Harry Potter Town. I'm gonna see if the line's not too long at Broomsticks, at three Broomsticks, I'm gonna try to see if I can get me a hot butter beer. But if the wait's too long, I'll have to settle for a cold butter beer. But either way, I'm getting a butter beer. <laughs> One of the greatest culinary creations in all of the theme park universe. One of the greatest things ever created. This concoction, this hot butter beer. I wonder sometimes if if hot butter beer thinks about me. Just perfection. Oh my god. Uh, well, as we wind down this evening, it is getting late. Hogwarts behind us. Uh, I want to finish up my thoughts on the balance between making Genie Plus or, or Express Pass here available with the annual pass or selling it a la carte. They do both here. But as I mentioned, the only reason why I bought it is because they sold it as part of the uh, Platinum Key or Platinum Pass. If they were selling it a la carte only, I would not get it. I would be, I would be standby only and I would, I would do the best that I could. For whatever reason, and maybe it's just me, but for whatever reason, I cannot bring myself to spend $20 or $80 on a, on a per visit basis. But I find it much more palatable if you were to sell it to me all at once. In this case, $250, or it's actually, it's probably closer to maybe 200, I'm guessing, maybe 175, considering the extra uh, uh, days you get on your calendar. I cer they certainly wouldn't get three uh, express passes out of me. Definitely not, they would never get three out of me. And that's the break even point for, for Universal. It's more likely they're gonna get zero out of me. Somebody threw out a number, I think, I don't remember where it was, but it was $120 for Genie Plus. And I said, well, certainly they're not gonna get, Disney will not get 60, or I should say six purchases of Genie Plus out of me. I'm not gonna buy six copies of Genie Plus for $120 total over the course of a year. No chance of that happening. But if they sold Genie Plus for my annual pass for $120, you've got it. I would do it right now, bar none, absolutely. Heck, if they even charge 250, or more, I would still do it because now it's now it's about. I feel I can. I don't want to. I can't buy it a la carte. I just can't. It's such a slam dunk. Buying Genie Plus or or uh, the Express Pass, using it is such a slam dunk. It's such an easy decision. Five minute walk ons for every attraction that we did today. Same thing at Genie Plus. It's such an easy decision to get it. The question is whether or not to spend the money. But the actual use of it is so easy that it makes me think that Disney, do they not want Magic Keys to buy it? Because they would sell them, so they would sell so many. They would sell an infinite number of Genie, oh my God. When you talk about the 80% uh, opt-in rate for MaxPass, that 80% was due to pass holders. They were opting in, they were buying it, they were either including it with their Sig Plus key or they were buying it a la carte for however much it was. I can't remember, but somebody said $120, which seems like a seems like a steal. I would <laughs> I would buy three of them <laughs> at $120. <laughs> so the fact that it's the fact that it's such an easy decision makes me and they they gotta know this. They know this. They wouldn't just knowingly leave money on the table unless they didn't want us to buy it. That's the part that worries me. Because I feel like that's the only way they're gonna get me to do it. And so I don't think I'll ever be getting Genie Plus because I, I think they know that and they're choosing not to. And I and I have a feeling when the new pass comes around in August, we will not be seeing a pass 
uh, with Genie Plus attached to it. We might see a pass with no reservations or some kind of just some kind of derivative of that. Maybe it's a no reservations for weekdays or no reservations after three o'clock or something like that. But I, I don't think, I don't think that you're gonna see it included with, with the Magic Key. Not quite done yet with cleaning the palette. You, a trip to Universal is not complete unless you've been to uh, Hogwarts. Do a little something, Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, to do a little something, Harry Potter Town. It's been a minute since I've been to Ollivander's. We're gonna check out the Ollivander's wand ceremony. Maybe do a little shopping. Welcome to Ollivander's. Makers of fine wands since 382 BC. I am the wand keeper, and I understand that you were all here to witness a wand bit. I've been expecting you. Yana, do me a favor. Lift your wand out for me, straight up, just like that, please. Yana may know that every other mantis wand has a core consisting of a powerful magical substance. You may put your arm down. This here is a wand of oh, 16 and a half inches long, rather than in. I want you to brighten the room by illuminating the end of the wand, hold the wand high, and with a squishy of lips, say, Lumos. Lumos. Unlock that top drawer, just the top one, with a swish and fix it, a lot of more. one more time <laughs> before we go as well. This beautiful creation that they've done here, man. Well done, Universal, well done. And that's our show today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Interesting conversation when talking about Genie Plus and Express Pass and uh, you know how and when to decide whether or not to buy it. What is your opt-in point? Is it the price alone or is it convenience? Is it the idea of paying for it one time and not having to pay for it for the rest of the year, even though you're probably going to pay more than you would if you purchased them a la carte. Give it here. Like I said, if they ask me, they're asking me to pay $250 for Express here, I pop positive I would not have bought three of those throughout the course of the year. I would not have. So they're definitely getting more money out of me by, by offering it to me with the pass. That's a thing interesting conversation and I wonder if Disney's not doing that intentionally because they know the locals dominate the park at Disneyland I mean but we've been through this here I am I am riffing again we've been through this with Max Pass I just I don't I, I'm not sure where to put it I'm just not sure where I mean Max Pass everybody had it and it still it has still worked ah, we'll keep talking about it forever and ever guys because that's what we do here been talking about this stuff for 10 years I got 10 more in me Thanks for watching, everybody. Follow us on Instagram at underscore fresh bake. 
On Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh with OE. On TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. If you like our show and want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash freshbaked. Otherwise, thanks again for watching, everybody. We love you very much. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh baked.